everybody, welcome in. In this video, I am going to try and create the gyro mount using Autodesk Inventor. So what I want to do first is I'm going to go to new, click new again. I'm going to go to English standard, click on the create button. I'm going to start my 2D sketch. And I'm going to start it on this X and Z plane. And then I'm just going to click the arrow up here above the view cube to rotate my view cube where now it's reading top is reading right side up like, like it should be. Um, then I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to click the center dot here as a center point of my circle. I'm going to drag it out. That needs to be a diameter of four. All right, so then what I want to do is I'm going to finish this sketch. I'm going to extrude it up by its 0.2. Yeah. I mean, you can either extrude it up or down it. That doesn't matter. I'm just going to go up here and click OK. I'm going to, while I'm here, I'm going to turn on the visibility of the, uh, this one, the Y axis. So I'm going to right click that y axis turn on the visibility because I'm going to be needing that here in just a second. And then I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the top face of my circle. I'm going to rotate this back again 90 degrees. And I'm just going to, I'm going to draw a kind of a, a bolt hole circle, I think you call it. So this is what these little small circles are located on. So this has a diameter of three. And then I'm going to change this. So I hit the escape key a couple of times. I'm going to change this. I'm going to click on my, this circle and change it to a construction line. And then I'm going to draw my little, one of my little small circles here. So I'm going to click it on this kind of bottom quadrant of this circle drag it out a little bit and I'm going to put a dimension on it. Dimension this needs to be has a diameter of 0.25. Now notice if I zoom in on this and, I, and if I try to grab the center dot, I can drag this circle anywhere along this construction circle that I made. It's doing some weird things. I can move it over here. I can move it up. But so what I want to do is I want to constrain this thing to where it's locked down here at the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to click on my vertical constraint. And this is what this is why I rotated my view cube back the way I did to where it's up and down, because now my vertical is vertical. If you were to leave it kind of rotated, then your vertical would be horizontal. Your horizontal would be vertical. It's, it's a confusing mess anyway. I'm going to click on my vertical constraint. So I'm going to click the center of the circle. I'm going to click the center of this. It should slam it over. Boom. There we go. All right. So now when I finish my sketch, I'm going to extrude this hole. I want to cut it all the way through. I'm going to click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circular pattern. So you see pattern here, circular. Okay, so what is my feature? My feature is going to be, I want to make a pattern of this small circle here. My rotation axis, I'm going to click this little orange lit up arrow here. So anytime you see if it's orange, it's, it needs you to choose something for that. You can see this arrow here is white because we've already chose what we want that feature to be. So just kind of keep that in mind. So it's looking for us to tell, tell Inventor, what, what is our rotation axis? So it's going to be the center axis that we made visible earlier. And then it's going to rotate it around 360 degrees around this axis. And right now we have six of those. So you can change this if you want like 20 of them. You could type in 20 or, you know, whatever. But we only need six. So I'm going to select six. I'm going to hit OK. And so there's kind of, that's kind of part one of our, our gyro mount. All right. So for part two, what I want to do is I am going to, I don't think I need this axis showing anymore. So I'm just going to right click this, turn it invisible or uncheck the visibility. What I want to do is I want to turn the visibility of this plane that goes right through the middle because I'm going to use that as my sketch plane. So 
I want the XY plane. So I'm going to right click it, make it visible. And now I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this plane. And if you want to get rid of whatever is in front of it while you're drawing, sometimes it gets in the way. We're not actually going to be drawing down here at the, on this part here, but you could go down here to where you see this, um, what's it called? Slice graphics. And it kind of slices what's ever in front of that plane to kind of help you kind of see what's going on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sketch out the shape of this, um, this kind of middle kind of wall looking thing, Jiggy. So I'm going to go to line. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to kind of create this kind of shape. It goes up, it's kind of angled over. It goes straight, it goes up, it comes over a little bit here, straight over, down, over a little bit, kind of angles down, and then it's going to go um, straight over. So I'm going to draw another line from here to here. And then I can just start dimensioning this thing right here. So this is going to be from here to here. That is, hold on, let me, let me zoom in on this thing. That is five. Yeah, that looks like five. So the dimension from this is five, which you can see I was way off. Does that look right? Five. Okay. Yep, that's five. Okay, all right, so then the bottom is gonna be two. I know I got some cleaning up to do on this. So from here to here is two. And then I'm just gonna drag this, slide it back over a little bit like that. So then from here, let's see, from here to here, that is 0.75. And it's the same on this side. So from here to here, that's 0.75. And then what else can we do? What else? Um, I know that, oh, I know that the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom has a distance of 2.8. 2.8. Holy cow. All right, so now, okay, that from, I'm looking at what dimensions I need. From here to here is 0.25. And then what else do we know? We know that, let's see. Ah, I know that from the center dot to the end here, that is, where can I put this right here? That's gonna be 1.75. Same thing, let me hit the escape key to fix these dimensions right quick. That kind of bugs me. Move this down a little bit, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then the same thing, I'm gonna dimension from this corner so this dot again that's gonna be this is gonna be oh it's already it's already telling me it's already there so I don't need to mention that I'm just gonna cancel that all right what else do I need what else do I need um I'm looking oh let's see oh I know what I need to do from here to the end here, I need to center this thing. So that's gonna be one, or we could do it. What we could do is this. Well, I'm not, I'll just put one. I don't wanna get fancy there. All right, there we go. So now we got it, we got it fully constrained. We have all our dimensions in there to give that shape it's, the way it wants to look. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna finish this sketch. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to do it symmetrically here. And for my distance, that is two. I hit OK there. All right, so that's kind of step number two. 
All right, so from here, it's kind of like, you know, pick your poison, which, which do you want to do next? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to draw that circle that goes right through the middle of this. So I'm going to start my 2D sketch again on this plane here. And here's where that, that kind of slice object comes in handy. So right now you can see that part is kind of in front of our plane. If I go down to where you see slice graphics here, click it. Now it removes kind of everything that's in front of that plane, kind of helps us see what's going on better. So I'm going to go up to circle, center point. I'm not worried about where it's located right now, somewhere here. So I'm just going to draw just a random circle. This has a diameter of 1.5. So I'm going to dimension this. 1.5. I need to locate where my center is. So my center, I'm going to constrain it vertically. So it's going to be in line with this dot in the center. So let's max it over. And then it's going to be located from the center to this line here. That's going to be 1.5. And then I can finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this. So now you see our center, our circle is like disappeared, but it finds it. So I'm going to, I'm going to extrude this symmetrically both directions. I'm going to cut it and I want it to go all the way through and click OK. I know at this point you're like, that does not look like what we got going on, but we're, we're going to get there, I promise. Um, so what I want to do here, now I'm going to turn off the visibility of this XY plane. And I want to turn on the visibility of the YZ plane. And now what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this plane. So I'm just going to kind of cut out this kind of hollow part that goes through. I tried to do the shell earlier and it, it didn't really work as well as I had intended it to. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to, I'm going to um, again, I'm going to cut my slice graphics. To get all that out of the way, I'm going to just draw a rectangle here from like just somewhere. Actually, I can, no, let me don't do that. I'm going to do this right here. So I'm going to dimension this. So from the bottom of this rectangle to the top of the base here, that's going to be zero. The dimensions to the side, to here to here, that's going to be 0.25. Same thing over here, that's going to be 0.25. And then from the top, from the top, actually it's going to be, it's going to be right up here. So I could, mm, let's see, can I, uh, actually I'll just dimension it. I'll dimension it to here, from here to here. Is, that's a zero. Lock those two in line there. So then what I want to do is I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to extrude that little box symmetrically. I'm going to make sure that's going to cut all the way through, which is, yeah, this one. And click OK. So there, now you can see it's kind of starting to take a little shape there. So that's kind of our our main piece right there. No, now we just got to add on some little final details here. So, all right. So from here, I'm just going to turn off the visibility of this plane here. Too many, I mean, having too many things in the way, it, you know, it, it gets, it gets crazy. So yeah, the more that I can turn off that I don't need, the better. Anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this top face here. So, I'm not sure where I want to go. I think I'll, I'll go down here. We'll draw the rectangle kind of down here on the end here. Like so, I just drew it kind of randomly. Now I can add my dimensions to it. Let's see, this is gonna have a, that is, let me zoom in on my picture here. That has a, a diameter of one, one. Yeah, so this is gonna be one. I'm thinking out loud here. That's going to be one from here to here is 0.5 because it's in the center there. It's going to, I'm going to fill it the ends here. So that's going to be 
So here, wait, let's try this again. Fillet, 0.5, yeah, here, and then here. And then uh, there's going to be a circle right there in the middle of this, right where that is. That's going to be, that has a diameter of 0.5. All right, so I know that. And then I'm going to dimension from the center of this to this line. That's going to be uh, 0.5. All right, there we go. So now I can finish this sketch. I'm going to extrude this downward. So I'm going to flip it. Actually, I'm just going to say, instead of giving it a distance, I'm going to go, I want it to go to this bottom surface here, like so, just to make those line up evenly. Click OK. So there's that. Um, let's add these two holes on the back. So I'm going to go to Hole. I'm going to click on the top surface here. And I want that hole, that's going to have a diameter of 0.25, which I think it already is right now, but 0.25. And then I want to click on the edge here where I want to dimension it from this edge. That's going to be 0.5. Now don't press enter here. I'm going to click on this other edge. I'm going to type in 0.5. All right, now I can press enter. Wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, want, I don't want to go all the way through because if I do, it's going to hit this bottom base. I tried that before. So I want to go, I want this to go to this bottom surface here. I can pick it. Uh, it's not letting me. Why? Let me go up here. So I want it to go to. All right, it's being a, it's being a booty. So let's just say that I want this to go a distance of 0.25, and I don't need it to be a the bottom. It's going to go right through anyway. So yeah, let me see what that. Okay, yeah. So if we want, if we sit through all, it would it would clip out that little piece at the very bottom. So I need to make another hole. Let me see if I can do it the right way this time. I'm gonna hole. I want it to go simple hole. That one. I'm gonna click here. It's 0 0.25. I'm gonna dimension to the side. That's 0.5. From here, that's 0.5. I want it to go to. I'm not. Why did it let me do it this time? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it better frustrates me. So I want it to go to this bottom plane here, and then hit OK. Yeah. All right, there we go. Just making sure it doesn't cut all the way through it. All right, so there's that. Then all I need to do is now just kind of cut out this little top rectangly piece. So I'm going to start my 2D sketch here. Let me rotate this back. Um, let me go back this way, that way. So I'm going to create a rectangle. And then I just need to dimension it. So from this edge to this edge, that's 0.75. I'm sorry, that's 0.5. 0.5. We'll get there. I promise we're going to get there. <laughs> this is going to be, this dimension is 1. And if we center this, this is going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And then the dimension from the back. Oh, wait. I don't need to do that because, oh, I need to dimension here. This is going to be 3. There we go. So there's our little rectangle. It's fully constrained. Finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude, cut that. I want it to go to this bottom face here and hit OK. Make sure this looks right. It looks right. Oh, and that doesn't look right. Actually, it doesn't look right. So. All right, so I'm going to go back to, it's good to make a mistake and then show you how to correct it. So I want to right click on sketch nine, go to edit sketch, 
So this right here actually it is 0.75. So it's, that's not 0.5, that's 0.75. Pushes that back a little bit. Then we can finish our sketch. There, that looks better. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I did that mistake on purpose so I could show you all how to fix it. Yeah, that's my excuse. Anyway, um, from here we can just, you know, get fancy with it. We can add a color to it. Hmm. I think I picked out the good ones in the other videos. Smooth yellow. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so then just make sure you go to file. You want to save it. We're going to save this as gyro. I like doing things in all caps because I can see it better anyway. Um, yeah, so gyro mount, save it. All right, there we go. So yeah, we, I mean, we kind of struggled through a little bit, but yeah, you know, we got there. That's all that matters, right? All right. Hope that helped. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, yeah, peace out.